today on Be Something Wonderful, the real secret to the secret of manifesting anything. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Creators, welcome back. I had sessions all day yesterday, starting in the morning, uh, right after I shot the video, and then to probably the early evening. I think I finished around 7.30 or so. And what was interesting about yesterday is um, several of those, not all of them, several of them were, were clients that were going through or have been through what they described as heartache or heartbreak, some real tough times. And, and, and they all had the same, the same underlying belief that they don't deserve to, to manifest what they want. They don't deserve their, their heart's desire. They've been denying themselves what they really want. So I really want to hit this today and more because that is such a bogus, false belief, right? When you deny yourself, you're denying God, right? It's about following your heart's desire. So I really want to hit this. And, and here's what a few of them said. I've been through a lot of heartbreak and heartache. I need to heal myself first. The belief that they have to, they have to, they, they have to become worthy. They have to show that they're healed. They have to heal themselves. They have to fix themselves. They have to repair themselves. They got to spend years fixing something that they believe is wrong with them or what they've been through. They've got to heal the wounds, right? All of this is what I've heard. And I just want to say, guys, this, I, I get it. I've had heartache. I've had heartbreak in my life and I, I, I know what that is, but I just want you to know when you start looking at it from that higher perspective, from the God within you, then you see that your heart, it's really your heart breaking out from that contained life of survival and perceived security and limitations, right? That's your heart. Your heart is expanding when it's break, when you, what, what feels like heartache, what feels like heartbreak, is your heart saying to you, make room for me. Make room for me to expand, to, to, to live that unlimited life that I truly am, right? It's your heart breaking out from that container, that life of survival, that life of perceived security, of limitation, right? You're losing the armor because you don't need the armor anymore, right? You, you already have everything. You're lo what you're losing is the, is, is the false sense of security, the false sense that, that, that you're, you're safe, right? And you're gaining everything. You're, lo you're losing that false armor, right? Your heart's asking for more space to be in, to, to move from limitations of a smaller life to the unlimitedness of following your heart's desire. That's what we mean when you, to, to focus on your desired end. What do you want now? Because the now moment is where God is, is where you are, where that higher being is, right? What, that's the only decision. What, what can be created in love, what can be created through love, what can be created be with love and by love? Not fear-based creation, right? Keeping yourself small, keeping keep, the magnitude of who you are is unlimited. You're, 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 but you're choosing littleness when you choose to... to to, to, to believe that you are that heartbreak, that to believe that is your life, that heartache. That's just your heart asking for more, right? So what is really following your heart's desire? It's a total commitment to what feels right to you. That's what I mean. Whatever that heart's desire is, there is no small and big or minor or import, less important or more important. Whatever you want is what you want. And it's a total commitment to what feels right to you. That's the feeling that Neville Goddard was talking about and the, sec the secret that, that all of them have been talking about, right? It, that's the real feeling. It's the feeling of what feels right to you. It's a commitment to your heart's desire. It's a conviction within that you, can, that you have that within you to choose and to be it and to move to it. That's the feeling we're talking about, guys. So big today. So this is what um, uh, Neil Donald Walsh and God says to Neil Donald Walsh. You're great. And this is Conversations with God, right? The trilogy. Your greatest 
vision of you is me. That's God to Neil Donald Walsh. Your greatest vision of you is me. Your greatest vision of you is God, that God within you. When you deny the greatest part of you, you deny me. That's what God said to Neil Donald Walsh. When you deny the greatest part of you, you're denying God. You're denying that part in you. When you say, when you identify with that heartache and that heartbreak is who you are, that that's your life, that, that you've got to heal it, you've got to overcome it, you've got to be something different, that, that, that you're denying God, right? That's just that inner being in you. That's your, that's asking your heart saying, I'm, I want to expand. I want to be unlimited. Give me more space to be in, right? Before a roo- this is what Scripture says, before a rooster crows, you will deny me three times. That's Jesus to Peter. Peter represents that disciple, that discipline of mine of faith. So Jesus is saying to faith, before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. Is that number three again in the Bible, representing wholeness, completeness, right? And so you, you, you're going to question your faith. You're going to doubt it now and then, right? But what gets you back? What gets you back to that is that thought of your heart's desire, that, 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 that knowing that feeling, that total, commit, that, that, that total commitment that feels right to you, right? Peter, remember when Peter was a fisherman, what does that mean? It means the sea represents that, that, that 3D world of sense consciousness, right? And that he would be, he would be just fishing and, and catching thoughts, right? Unwanted thoughts or wanted thoughts, and not really sorting through them, not really deciding what he wanted, right? And then remember, you walk on the water of negative and unwanted thoughts. Remember when, when, Peter, when Peter was walking on water and he started to sink, the faith, he started losing faith. And, and Jesus said, you are a little faith, you know, hold me, reach for me, the I amness, right? That, that, so you're always walking on that unstable or un- that, that consciousness, that 3D consciousness that's unstable, that's changeable. It's a sea of thought that's, that's always fleeting and always moving and always different. But there's a thought of who you really are that never changes, that's forever stable, that's forever more. That's, your, that's you thinking of that, you, that, that knowing, that inner knowing, your inner conviction and then you move to your heart's desire. Your faith wavers until you trust in your inner authority and firmly establish it, right? It's firmly establishing your inner authority. Wow, that's big. So follow your heart's desire, declaring the truth of who you are in this moment and now. That's what we're talking about. That's a total commitment to what feels good to you. Following your heart's desire. Faith in your desired end or imagined end. This is what Neville Goddard says. It is the frequency, not the length of time, that makes it natural. It's the frequency returning to that desired end. I've been threading this needle now for a week, right? But this is powerful because we're talking about focus, not, 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 not uh, concentrating with, um, with effort, We're talking about focusing, moving back to your desired end. We're saying, feel the heartbreak, feel the heartache. That's your heart just saying, I want want you to focus on on what you really want. I want want more room to flourish, to grow, to expand, right? So so that to which you constantly return constitutes your truest self. That's what Neville Goddard said right? It's a frequency, not the length of time that makes it natural. That to which you constantly return constitutes your truest self or your higher self, your highest vision for yourself, as God said to, to Neil Donald Walsh through conversations with God. That's what we're talking about. That's the conviction, that, the feeling of conviction in what you love. The, that's the conviction. That's the feeling. That's the secret of creation, moving to what you love. What do you love right now? It doesn't always have to stay the same. You can, you can, your heart's desire different things. It can be other things, but it's always built. The heart's desire is always built on that higher self, being true to who you really are, being true to your inner authority. That's your true heart's desire. And then there are things that you want through that, right? That's so big. So your divine mind never wavers. 
You may say, oh, I'm wavering, Tom. I, you know, all this, this stuff happening in 3D, but your divine mind, you can be confident in that inner authority never wavers. That inner, that divine mind never wavers. Just return to love. Choose again, focus on your heart, your desired end. That moves you back in alignment with who you really are, the whole of who you really are, right? Choose love, your heart's desire. And this is what um, in John 21, 15, Simon, son of John, do you love me more than these? Right? Do you love me more than these? These what? These, these thoughts, these, all these thoughts that are unlove that are negative, that are pulling you off your heart's desire. Simon representing the receptive. Remember, it's Simon Peter. Peter representing, fit, represents that, con, that state of mind of faith. Simon representing that receptiveness to the truth of that higher spiritual understanding. Simon Peter, son of John, son of love. The disciple that represents love. Simon, receptive to the truth. Son of John, son of love. Do you love me more than these? Are you affirming that love again? In other words, are you returning to your desi heart's desire? Are you reaffirming your commitment to your heart's desire, to what feels good to you? Wow, that's big. Three times Jesus said that to Peter. That's the affirmation of love, right? Of your heart's desire. Three times. Again, the number three right? Focus. It's, it's about focus, not effort. Only perceiving your heart's desired, your desired end. Pure intention, motivated by love. Pure intention, motivated by love. Not fear-based. Not, you're not going to sink in the water of, of unwanted thoughts and unwanted conditions in 3D reality. You're going to walk over those. You're going to rise above them in, 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 uh, by trusting in your inner authority, by trusting in your conviction of your heart's desire by moving to that desired end. So big today. And Descartes, uh, Descartes said this, I think, therefore I am. But really, is that it? No, you get lost in thought. That's what that's saying. I think, therefore I am. Descartes saying, you get lost in thought. Instead, it's your I am gets lost in its own creations. That's what that really means. It really, what, is it, what do we really want to say here? We want to say, I am, therefore I think. Right? You're no longer now confusing your, your creations with your I amness, right? You get lost in thought, I think, therefore I am. You get lost in unwanted conditions, unwanted thoughts, unwanted feelings. And it pulls you, hear this, from your focus on your desired end, right? Your I am gets lost in its own creations. Right? You get lost. It, not the true I am, but the, but the 3D I am gets lost. You're not, you're not connecting with the I am of, uh, of, that, of that higher spiritual state within you. Right? I am, therefore I think. Right? Remember, your thinking mind is under the dominion of your I am, that higher spiritual consciousness. It's not the other way around, right? It's not the other way around where I think, therefore I am. It's I am, therefore I think. And you get to choose, right? You command it. Be still and know that I'm God. In other words, be still and return to what you love. Return to your desired end. Return to your imagined end. That's so big today. So... You're not beating your chest, you're opening your heart. I love this. God, with, through Neil Donald Walsh, you're not beating your chest, you're opening your heart. One of you said in, in, in our sessions, two of you actually, yesterday, that I just don't know if I deserve it. I, I feel like I'm being selfish. I feel, I feel like I'm being selfish with my desires when I, when, I, when I choose what I want. Guys, you're not beating your chest, you're opening your heart. And when you open your heart, it feels like heartache. It feels like heartbreak. It's just giving your heart, giving it more space to grow and more to be in. When you deny yourself or when you modify your desires or accept less than your heart's desire, you're denying God, that Christ or that I am within you. Trusting in your higher self, your inner authority, is not selfish or arrogant. On the contrary, it's selfish and arrogant to think you could be separated from God. Do you get it? That's what's selfish and arrogant, right? There's nothing the, the, to think you could be separated from, from the creator, from the source, right? From all that is. You can't be separated from that ever. Wow, that's big. So when your heart opens, it can feel like heartbreak. This is what I've talked about. It's, it's your heart 
the connection to that higher you, the connection to your heart's desire, expanding, asking for more space to be in. It's your heart aching for more, to feel more, to be more. Wow, that's so big. That's what's meant by healing, right? It's transformation. It's a deeper level of understanding and conviction with your heart's desire. That's what we mean by when your heart aches and your heart breaks, it's not going on a quest to heal it. That's the healing. It's expanding and you're becoming more than you were. You're feeling more than you were. And it's about recognizing that. That's what true healing is. It's recognizing what that heartache is, what that heartbreak is, and going to that. It's just moving to that within, to your heart's desire. That's how you heal. That's transformation on a deep level. That's all healing ever is, right? Moving to the alternative reality, moving to the script, the film role, the lifeline, where you are already all that you want to be. That's what healing's all about. That, that, that it's to forgive, awaken, to heal, to live, and to thrive. That's all it is. It's connecting with everything that you are. Choose, intend from your heart, from love. Your heart's desire aligns your heart and mind. It automatically aligns. There's no split. When you, when you point towards your heart's desire, when you move back that. Wanting is of a lower mind and binds you to a state of wanting. You don't get what you want, you get what you choose and intend. In other words, you get what your heart desires is. You don't have to want. You just choose it, intend it, it's who you are. You are the source of everything I am. That's God to Neil Donald Walsh. That's a powerful line. Hear it again. You are the source of everything I am. That's God to Neil Donald Walsh. You are the source of everything I am. Assume your heart's desire and all else will be added to you, as scripture says. That is the, the real secret to the secret of manifesting everything or anything you desire. I am your host, Tom Karen, and this is the Be Something Wonderful studio of higher consciousness, where we help you level up and become the best version of yourself. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification button, like and share our videos. That's how we get our message out. We have a Facebook group called the Be Something Wonderful Ambassadors at Facebook, uh, Facebook slash groups, uh, Facebook.com slash groups slash Be Something Wonderful. We also have a page on Facebook called Be Something Wonderful. And you can visit us on Twitter and Instagram at Tom Karen or our website anytime at TomKaren.com or be something wonderful.com. Until next time, creators, with great love, with great light, and infinite gratitude, see you soon.